this is a wind event right now, but it's going to progressively become a rain issue, a flooding issue. Right, it's going to evolve into a flooding issue, and as it does, uh, then then that's going to be just another thing that we have to deal with. Right. Yeah. All right, Craig. Thank you. Let's head over to Meg Oliver. She is live in Doral for us. Meg, how are you holding? I know you have somebody there who's going to catch you if you blow away. I just don't want you to blow away. Are you safe? <laughs> I know. I, we are safe. I think you need to ask Craig, though. I heard him say that the wind gusts are measured up to about 74 miles per hour. I'm wondering if they are a little bit stronger. I'm keeping my eye on a, one of these palm trees overhead because some of the palm fronds have started to blow off. And I talked to you about it an hour ago, and I got to tell you, the winds have really started picking up. The rain is pounding down. And it is just, you can really start to feel the outer bands of Irma uh, barreling through this area. The, the hotel where we're staying still has power. I know more than 250,000 people are without power. We're pretty lucky here with that. But again, it's the wind and it's the rain and the threat of tornadoes as they're increasing. And also, you don't want to be out in this because in case there's any flying debris, we're taking a lot of precautions um, and we're pretty well protected. But there are trees with these palm fronds that are making me a little nervous. And where are you exactly in Doral, Meg, to give people some perspective? So, right, so we're in Medley, um, and so oh. pretty close to the Hialeah Gardens area around there. Um, and, you know, it's been a ghost town. Uh, we haven't ventured out, really, but um, we had a photographer who went out late last night. He said there's just nobody on the roads around here. A lot of people are just packed in this hotel uh, watching Channel 4. It's on every monitor here. Uh -huh. I keep making sure of that. And um, they're just hunkered down here, and they're, the little kids are trying to pass the time. I think I told you there were a few kids on scooters yesterday. Um, I'm not sure what the parents are going to do today because they have got another long day ahead of them. And, Meg, the people that you're talking to, are they folks that have been through hurricanes before, or is this a first time for them? No, a lot of them have been through hurricanes before. There was that one gentleman, I think I was telling you earlier, from Key West that he has always ridden out these storms at his house. This is one of the first ones that he can remember in a long time where he just said, you know what, this looks too big, too fast, too powerful. I need to get to higher ground. And you, Meg, have you gone through a number of hurricanes? And have I gone through a number of hurricanes? Is that what you said, yes. Vanessa? Yes. Yes. No, no. This is my first baptism oh, wow. by fire on this one. So uh, <laughs> starting to see some action here. <laughs> Roll in. Holding up pretty well for a first timer. But you were in uh, in Houston, if I'm not mistaken, right, covering the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey and some of the stories that you saw there. You could see why people here, at least in this part of the state of Florida, are feeling a little bit of a sense of relief, although this is a massive hurricane. That's right. I was in, uh, after we got there after Harvey hit, um, I have relatives here in Florida and they survived uh, during Hurricane Andrew and I know the stories very well of um, boarding up and how long they were in um, holding out in their bathtub for hours waiting for that massive storm to go through. So um, just very happy to see that a lot of people have heeded the warnings and they have evacuated or they're in a safe place like a shelter. And I know you've been here for a couple of days, Meg. Uh, what's the extent of the damage that you're seeing? You know, that it's hard to say right now, Vanessa, because we haven't been able to leave this area. We've been outside our hotel, um, so we haven't seen too much around here. Um, watching Channel 4 all morning, you know, I see the reports of, you know, fallen trees and stuff like that, but we haven't seen anything like that in our area right now. I'm sure things are happening outside of here, but we've been trying to stay safe and protected for now. We hope to venture out tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good, good, good policy. And you haven't seen anybody around that area out and about. Is that correct? No, that's, that's exactly correct, Elliot. Everybody is staying hunkered down in this hotel right here. A lot of different TV crews are doing the same thing we're doing, uh, broadcasting from here, trying to stay safe and protected. Good. Okay. All right. Well, stay safe and stay protected. <laughs> get under, uh, get inside a building, get inside and, and get out of that rain and wind. Meg Oliver, thank you so much. Let's head over now to Beyond.